So we all know the whole thing with Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens and potentially not being brought back. So that being said, you guys already know the concept of this video. We're the Baltimore Ravens. And for the sake of this video, even with Lamar having max interest in a contract extension, we are going to let him walk and try to make a move for Trey Lance uh, from the 49ers. The only other guy I would want is Ben Powers, but doesn't have interest so i think that we'll just leave all that behind i'm basically going to do this off season as a rebuild or whatever uh just you know by myself and then uh after that we will hop on into um you know a career simulation basically with trey lance at quarterback and whatnot so um we could try to make the move right now i think that's a thing i, I could be wrong right can you do that Trades available right now. Trade center. So we're going to go ahead and try to make a trade for Mr. Trey Lance. We'll have to trade 23 for sure. Um, if they want Gus Bus, they can have them. And who else am I willing to give up here? Uh, looking around and continue to look around. And Kevin Zeitler. So we'll go like that. And then we'll look for the 40 winers. Um, just kidding. My dad is a fan of the 40 winers. So Trey Lance is a lower overall than Brock Purdy to this point. So, I mean, this might get it done right here just with, yeah. So Gus Edwards and Kevin Zeitler will get us Trey Lance. So very, very fair. And we still have that first round pick. So that is pretty cool. Did not get anything in return for, um, Lamar Jackson. I know some of you guys might be mad about that, but I don't know. It's just the best way to go about it. Can't do it in the game. It just doesn't work like that unless I want to trade trade deadline or turn trade deadline off and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I guess we're all good. We've got Trey Lance under center. Let's build around him this offseason. Really see who we can surround him with. He's already got J.K. Dobbins. And, um, you know, now we've got to look around for some pieces to, to really help him out. And I think that going after a guy like, you know, OBJ, um, he doesn't want that, but like a one year, 13 mil, 7.5. It's a big deal to give out, but uh, I mean, he doesn't even seem to care much about it, but we are the top offer offer all said and done there. We'll go to re receiver and see if anyone down the board strikes the interest of moi and uh, Jacoby Myers does kind of at 26 years old. I feel like that could be pretty good. Other than that, there's probably nobody good at tight end. Let, uh, we can use a guard. For sure. And David Edwards, I'm guessing this is right here. Natane Moody. Um that is it's a tough position here. I think Natane Moody is probably gonna be my guy. Go three, go two years on or two mil nearly four mil a year. Happy with that for sure. At center, probably could use someone. And then Nate Davis has full interest. So I'm gonna do this. Just give him a massive free agent deal. Uh for apparently no reason. And then we go to right tackle. Do we need one? We definitely do. Morgan Moses is 33 years of age. Maybe the next guy up on the trade block. Maybe think about that for sure. Left end. What do we got? What sort of system are we running? Metabuike. And then a defensive tackle. We've got Michael Pierce. And then uh, I'm sure Metabuike and whatever are playing inside. And then Ojaba. Okay, so... <clears throat> Could use someone to like, you know, take up some space on the inside. But I'm just not sh quite sure who that would be. Maybe Jaron Reed wants to come in for a year and uh, help the team out for, you know, I don't know, whatever deal. Except that will be my fifth offer. So I do actually want to go ahead and decline that. Uh, keep some space around. Left outside linebacker, we're good. Middle linebacker, also good. Right outside linebacker, are we good? Adafi Owe, yes, we are good for sure. Corner, we could use a corner for sure. Jamel Dean with mild interest has me interested a little bit. I think that if that deal, if he doesn't have anybody else going for him, he doesn't really. So really happy with this. OBJ, Jamel Dean, Mike McGlinchey, Nate Davis, and Natani Moody. We'll try to get all of them. It will be close with some of these guys. We might not get all the guys we want, except we got... Everybody except who did we not get? We got the corner, a wide receiver, left guard, right tackle. There's someone we didn't get, and I couldn't tell you who it is. So um I'm really trying to think. We got, I mean, oh, Nate Davis, we didn't get. Okay. 
So Samalo or Sam, yeah, Sumalo here. And go ahead and just give him a, a two-year deal. We'll try to bring him on in and uh, <clears throat> keep him with the team here. And then what else do we need? We're going to need that end of ours. Jaron Reed was interesting, but I like Romeo Quara. Well, actually, what is his block shedding? Because that is probably where he'd play the most. His block shed is 67. Not good. Um, 79 right here of Trey Flowers. I'm good. I think I'll just stick with... Uh, oh, Belayle Nichols is down here, actually. Okay, I'll take Belayle Nichols. I think he has a lot of interest as well. 26. A three-year deal. Two mil. I like that deal a lot right there, actually. Oh, my goodness. And then... Could we use, like, another... Safety. Who's that safety for us? Marcus Williams, Chuck Clark, Kyle Hamilton. We do not need safeties whatsoever. So these will be the last wave right here with Samalo and Belial Nichols. And we'll see who we can get. I mean, I guarantee you we get both of them, but Samalo and Belial Nichols. So that'll be all for free agency. We could try to go trade Morgan Moses if he has any value and maybe any other pieces that are kind of just laying around. I mean, you look around to quarterback, we're good, running back good. But, I mean, Devin DuVernay isn't laying around, but I'm sure he's up for an extension this year or next year or whatever. Ronnie Stanley, good. We've got ourselves a good one. So Morgan Moses is laying around, and he's a backup that is just worse. So, I mean, kind of have to do something about that. And then Tyus Bowser is very much a, a stray. He kind of just is walking around doing nothing. And then we're going to need a cornerback. So we'll see if anyone has like green interest in both of these guys. Kind of look around and shop around. Done deal. Moses and Bowser across for Teron Johnson. I'm really happy with that one for sure. That trade. Um, it's a pretty good trade for sure. I think that it's good. I was going to try to trade for some sort of first round, but I don't think that we can get that to work. Let's go to the draft pick at number 23. And then I think we have a third, fourth, and then et cetera. If I'm the Baltimore Ravens in this spot right here, I'm not trying to trade up. I think that we'll literally just go to 23 and then we'll miss our second round pick, but that's fine. Drew Sanders would have been an absolute steal at 23 for me, at least. Uh, Anthony Richardson is still on the board. That would be pretty funny. Do need corner very badly. Devon Witherspoon has fallen. I don't even know why. Um, yeah, I mean, he's people's cornerback one. We're getting him at 23. Devin Witherspoon, welcome to the Baltimore Ravens after falling for a very long time. Don't really interest, you know, nothing really interests me in like the moving up. I'm like, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to or I'm not sure if I am or whatever, but we'll just look for good players. I think that's all we could do at this point. Cedric Tillman is good, but I mean, I'm not sure if he's you know, great or worth the pick here. Parker Washington's I'm a fan of for sure. Tyler Steen, the right tackle out of Alabama, 24 years of age, great strength. He's got some, some it's, he's got some things wrong with him, but he can eventually be a tackle, you know, to come in and play for us. Um, maybe like the third year that he's on the team. So Tyler Steen uh, will come on in and play for us for sure. And then at 23 here in the fourth round, look probably towards a receiver if anyone has fallen. Marvin Mims, Xavier Hutchinson's here. Um, yeah, I don't know, actually, if we'll go. I mean, A.T. Perry, 6'5", 195, uh, can be a really go-up-and-get-it guy. I think that there is a pretty good uh, ceiling here with A.T. Perry out of Wake Forest. Or not? Yeah, Wake Forest. So go up with... Uh, A.T. Perry here in the fourth round. Really happy about that for sure. And then we'll go ahead to the fifth round where we pick 14th in here and try to go ahead to Cam Jones off the board. It's one of my favorite linebackers in this class. Darius Rush, South Carolina, other uh, corner opposite of whatever his face is. I can't even remember his name. Oh, Makai Garner's here. Give me Makai Garner, too. Uh, fan of his out of LSU. He's not the fastest, but he's got length and might be a little bit older, but that's good. He's got a lot of experience under his belt, especially at a, a big school like LSU. We'll just go to the end of the draft, look at how these guys are and see how good they are. And then uh, we'll start to get into that Trey Lance career simulation portion of it. So, um, yeah, this, this should be pretty fun. And Devin Witherspoon, 76. Tyler Steen, 67. Not great. A.T. Perry is a 70. Makai Garner is a 73. Then we got Israel Abani Conda down the board. Pittsburgh running back, 21 years of age. Youngest player in the draft class for us. So 
we've got good things here and there for us for sure we'll go ahead and set this team up and i'll do all the settings that we need to do just to watch trey lance and this baltimore ravens team kind of uh kind of work uh work their magic and uh we'll see what sort of ceiling and see what sort of uh you know dynasty if they become one of those maybe a consistent team up there but i think trey lance was the right pick here at, at quarterback obviously you, you want lamar jackson but if you can't i don't know if your next best option is trey lance exactly or you go out and get anthony richardson i'm not sure what you do if you cannot get lamar jackson back that is a huge hole at quarterback not being able to bring him back and like i said you you have very limited options but at the same time you can do a lot but let's head into this thing okay i forgot we went so heavy with corner because now we have marlon humphrey <laughs> and then we have Jamel Dean, Teron Johnson, and then we drafted both these guys right here. Uh, yeah, Marlon Humphrey, when he's got him, mean, we'll have Jamel Dean and Teron Johnson on the boundary. Devin Witherspoon could kind of play that third slot corner guy. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe Teron Johnson takes that over. Free safety, strong safety. All that is all good. I do want Kyle Hamilton to start, though. And then I'll get the rest of this dialed in. The team is dialed in. We're going to the midseason. Let's see how they do in this first season. This first season is the only one I'm going to go to midseason. All the other seasons after this will just be completely uh, like to the playoffs. So, and we start off four and two. Very, very, very good. Um, according to my expectations, I was expecting maybe three wins at the most, but that means we're doing really well. Don't care to look at the schedule. Did not mean to do that. That is just uh, pure mistake by me sorry my hair is getting in the way it hasn't quite dried all the way out yet just shower still got to go back trey lance isn't doing too much but uh he's staying efficient at least try not to turn over the ball as much uh you know and then on the ground he's doing all right as well though seven broken tackles jeez um two touchdowns on the ground for sure is is good with 3.8 per carry a little bit under jk dobbins um obj though leading the team in receiving and then Mark Andrews and Devin DuVernay tied in second. Rashad Bateman getting some work. J.K. Dobbins and A.T. Perry. I really want to see him develop in these next couple of years, but we'll see, you know, what sort of uh, role the team has him playing down the road. David Ajabo has four TFLs. Happy about that. And uh, one sack. Everyone's tied at one. Everyone that's on the defensive line, virtually everyone has one sack. This is interesting, except, um, oh, no, Adafi always does. So we're actually starting Adafi Owe and David Ajabo off each edge. I think Ajabo is doing pretty good. Interception-wise, Marlon Humphrey getting there. Uh, Patrick Queen, Marcus Williams, whatever. All that good stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, we've started off the season well. Let's see if we can end it off even better, though. Looking to make the playoffs in the first year that Trey Lance is under center for this Baltimore Ravens team. And look at us go. 10-7 and seven in the wild card against the las vegas raiders that's really cool dafe owe has an upgrade perhaps he played well this season we'll see going to look at stats and awards here trey lance very not throw heavy but that is the exact role he needs to play has a one to three exact uh interception to touchdown radio or radio yep ratio only threw for on average 198 or 199 yards per game and then rushing trey lance was also really good though so i do have to give it to him um jk dobbins was all right i guess we can keep that uh you know under wraps um obj none of five yards mark andrews getting some production rashad bateman jk dobbins likely at perry finished off the season not well so it is what it is maybe he has a bigger role next year whenever one of these receivers fall out Maybe he can kind of step up and start producing, but 121 tackles from Patrick Queen is pretty good. Roquan Smith, Kyle Hamilton, all of them right there. Justin Matabuike, Michael Pierce tied for the most TFLs. And then Sacks, Adafi Owe, Blau Nichols had four, three for Matabuike, a job of two and a half, had an interception, six TFLs. Really had a stale second half, I'm not going to lie. Very embarrassing interceptions. Roquan had three. Jamel Dean had three. Marlon Humphrey had three. Kyle Hamilton with two. Marcus Williams with two. David Ajabo one. Patrick Queen one. And Teron Johnson also with one. So good stuff there from this uh, this team here in year one. I like what I'm seeing for sure. And uh, now we can see if we can get past this Las Vegas Raiders team in the wild card in the first year. And we don't. So it is what it is. We will head to the offseason season. Or actually, no, this is a career simulation. We can just skip right to next season, see how the team looks, and then set the team up how I want. A.T. Perry, I mean, moving up the depth chart. And um, I guess, yeah, so uh, we'll go past the Super Bowl week. I guess we can look at if anyone got dev trade upgrades. 
Um, looking around now, Trey Lance is up to superstar development. How or why? I don't know. Don't ask me that. I'm not the right person to ask. Oh my goodness, what is happening? A.T. Perry is up to a 73 overall, despite not playing, so he is still going up. Makai Garner has superstar development. Something I didn't know about. What is that for? You get like rookie. Did I give him that in that draft class? David Ajaba really didn't progress. Adafi Owe still is. Bilal Nichols was fine. Um, I mean, was Raquan Smith a superstar X Factor? I feel like he should be if he wasn't already. Patrick McQueen. I almost called him Patrick McQueen. Yikes. Um, yeah, um, this is mind blowing. Anywho, uh, we keep it moving, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll see you guys the beginning of next season. And moment of truth, let's see what this Baltimore team did in the uh, the offseason here. <laughs> Trey Lance is a 74 overall, uh, despite, you know, being a superstar development player in his first year. Um, I guess OBJ is re-signed. He was on a one-year deal, if I'm not mistaken. Steen is still developing. Uh, defensively, anything new? Um, no. I mean, this guy right here. Oh, they drafted two guys that are better than what? Who? Blail Nichols. Um, I thought we signed him to a multiple year deal. I guess not. Let's see who's coming off the edge, though. I still would like David Ajabo. I do not want Cleveland Farrell to. I want David Ajabo to have a chance to develop at least. And I think Devin Witherspoon should move into that number three spot. Um, you know, I'm not, I don't, I hate to bump Teron Johnson down. So we'll do this, and then uh, Witherspoon will just still play the slot. And Makai Garner still on leash potential, just sitting. Uh, so it, it's tough for sure. So we'll definitely have to see how this team ages. You've got a lot of pieces that you definitely could make work or could make, yeah, could make work. Um, A.T. Perry, I want him playing over Devin Duvernay this season. It's non-negotiable, especially if Duvernay is going to be in the slot, which it looks like he will be. So, um yeah, they'll get equal play time. I expect probably 300 yards from A.T. Perry this season. And we'll go straight to the playoffs, see if we can make it, see how the team did. All that good stuff. And a lot, I mean, it's a different season. Eight and nine we go. So not great. We'll go ahead and see if anyone really improved or stood out on the stat sheet. And it looks like Trey Lance did get a little bit better. One less interception. Um, same amount of touchdowns, a little bit more yards. So um, good for him. He's continuing to develop. J.K. Dobbins might not be the answer. And he, uh, Trey Lance still running for over 700 yards is good. Receiving, though, finally had the first receiver over 100 uh, or 1,000. Odell Beckham Jr. And then Rashad Bateman next up. Mark Andrews, Devin Duvernay, J.K. Dobbins, and A.T. Perry didn't get close to what I thought he might. But he's still getting at least a little bit of touches now. So maybe starting to warm up. Um, Roquan Smith was good. Kyle Hamilton was pretty good. Adafi Owe with 15 TFLs is really good. And those two in the interior are pretty good. Michael Pierce leads the team, not ideal. Uh, Jabo, I mean, he just is struggling to develop. Um, uh, Patrick Queen even had three, so that's pretty cool. Coleman doing pretty well. Marlon Humphrey, four interceptions is quite a bit. Patrick Queen, Jamel Dean, and Makai Garner actually got one. Um, how? He doesn't even have a single tackle, but he got an interception. I'm uh, very con confused. Uh, Teron Johnson's play time went down as well. So it is interesting to see how this team is aging so far. I think it has been uh, a fun, fun little thing to, to see. Um, I guess, yeah, move to next season, not the draft, but next season. Let's see what changes this team made over the offseason here. Trey Lance has got to be up for whatever. Not adoption, <laughs> not adoption, but... uh. Up for an extension here soon. I don't know why that came out of my mouth. Do not ask me. Uh, still has got that red hand headband uh, headband on. Oh, but dabby, oh, but. Jesus, man, I cannot. Uh, let's go ahead and look at his contract. Yeah, so he's just re-signed to a nearly thirty million dollars. Oh my god, <laughs> he's worth so much money now. We traded Kevin Zeitler, and I can't even remember who else. That's oh Gus Bus, and straight just across for Trey Lance, and now. Look at him go. He's showing his worth in the league. 77 superstar development, um, you know, whatever. And then A.T. Perry will take over the wide receiver three spot with um, a good look here. Uh, we did lose, was it Teron Johnson? So now Devin Witherspoon really is stepping up into the role. Finally, you did draft an insane, or is this Tuck, the guy from last season? Uh, Jones, Ford, 
Matabuike here. So you need edge help, if anything, right now, because Ajabo right now is just not getting the job done. Um, Makai Garner, I mean, everything looks good here. I, I don't really have a problem with, with any of this. AT Perry defensively, though, nothing wrong, uh, even though Marlon Humphrey will be gone soon. But we are well set for that to happen. But yeah, AT Perry finally stepping up into this wide receiver three spot. We'll see how he can perform. I'm actually really happy. 6'5", 195 or 185. I can't remember which one. I think it was 195. But we'll see how he can perform now that he's in the slot and in the third wide receiving or third wide receiver slot on the depth chart now. We'll see how it looks. We'll see how it goes. And we get way worse as more time goes on. We go 6 and 11 to start the season. Not ideal uh, by any means. Trey Lance took a little bit of a step back through for the. I mean. It is what it is, honestly. Um, a big step back, actually. A lot more interceptions or two more interceptions than his first year. And then 20 touchdowns is pretty good. But rushing, Trey Lance still up there in the 700s. J.K. Dobbins didn't quite get the, as many, you know, whatever. Because Alonzo Ingram, 5'9". Jeez. But uh, at that way, it's pretty big. Uh, Rashad Bateman, Mark Andrews, A.T. Perry finally having his first uh, good season or season worth talking about. 526 yards and two touchdowns 41 catches maybe he can grow into uh, a guy but i mean his rookie contract is going to be up here any moment so in these next two years or so uh tfls to go around off a jabo finally said to get going at least in the in the, in the run game so uh, that is good for him but only two and a half sacks is not great marlon Humphrey with five interceptions pretty crazy stuff um yeah, not not what we were expecting for the season. I expected this season to probably be our best, but uh, it is what it is. We move to next season, see what sort of uh, changes were made, see you know what's going on. Bad news. I'm guessing probably Ronnie Stanley uh, retired. We're an 81 overall offense after being like an 84 or five the last couple of years. So no, Ronnie Stanley is still here. So what big change? No more. Okay, I was gonna say no more Odell Beckham Jr., but he is still here. At Perry, I do want playing at that wide receiver two spot right now. I think now is the time that he's going to need to get a little bit better. Who did we have at right guard before? Because Simmons is there now. Then defensively, what's new? What's good with everybody? Uh, we have no more David Ajabo on the team, it looks like. Uh, Devin Witherspoon up to superstar can jump. Jamel Dean now. And then Marlon Humphrey should retire soon. Jamel Dean, it'll be Devin Witherspoon, Jamel Dean, and Makai Garner if we can uh, retain both of those guys. Travis Jones, Tuck. I mean, Jones is um developed well Adafe Owe is still like working I guess and uh so we got Adafe Owe and then Cleveland this new guy is going to come in and then um I guess yeah keep going with these guys for sure Dobbins I went back there AT Perry playing in that wide receiver two spot with the slot receiver privileges um that sounds really bad not privileges he's playing with the right uh <laughs> slot wide receiver uh responsibility don't <laughs> that that's that's fucked up on my part. Um, okay, I got to move past this. We're going to go ahead and make these upgrades. Move to the playoffs, man. And just like that, we are back in the playoffs. 85 overall offense. So we went up four overalls as the course of the season went on. That's really cool. Let's see what sort of numbers these guys are putting up. Sam Darnold put up 5,400 yards. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a big Sam Darnold guy. Trey Lance with his worst season by far. 3,200 yards. Not good. 23 touchdowns. Not great. Inter interceptions. I mean... As much as you're throwing the ball, that's probably not as, as good as you want it to be. J.K. Dobbins was pretty good. Over 1,000 for the first time in a while. Trey Lance, or first time in a season, I think. A.T. Perry led, this, led the team in receiving. Really happy for him. Um, on 64, I mean, he led the team with uh, average yards per reception as well. So he's definitely put in the work. I think we need to move to a better offensive scheme, though. I mean, I understand we're still doing good, but I think we could do better. And I think if we po focus a little hokey pokey, if we... Adafi Owe, Matabuike, and Shelton Cleveland all up there. Adafi Owe had nine sacks. Most we've seen probably in a while. Justin Matabuike is there as well. Paul Tuck looking around. Pretty good stuff. Roquan Smith had five interceptions. Three for Kyle Hamilton. Two, two, one, and one for Devin Witherspoon. So, yeah, I mean, we're seeing a lot of stuff happening right now. Working out, seeing a lot of this stuff kind of developing and really pushing. But, uh... 83 overall Houston Texans team will be a tough one to beat, but I think we got it for sure. Win, we only win by three, though. And then we have this uh, challenging Colts team ahead of us as well. Lonzo Ingram, the Colorado back, weighs uh, weighs 185 or something. It's 5'9". Um, stocky dude, for sure. 88 offense will be tough to stop, but 
in my opinion, we got it. 11 and 6 teams back, to, like, the bash them. Uh, we win by three again in this one to get into the Super Bowl against this very good Kansas City team. If I had to bet, I'd bet on the Kansas City Chiefs, but I'd never count us out. We're in the Super Bowl against the Chicago Bears. That is pretty cool. Um, A.T. Perry up to a 77 overall. Um, Wake Forest receivers really working out for us now. Headed to the Super Bowl. Uh, but his first year, you know, being the leading receiver on the team. So definitely a good luck charm of some sorts. Uh, let's see if any of the team has gone up in dev traits or anything of that nature has happened. A.T. Perry, no. Um, Dean is a superstar receiver. That is something to watch out for, for sure. Maybe Perry or whatever. Nobody else really moving around. Dev trait wise, no. Still doing good. All right. Not a lot going on for sure on this team. Um, I guess we can continue to move around. I mean, let's go ahead and upgrade these players that we've got to upgrade. Roquan, Atani, Muti is up to a 79 overall. That, that free agent signing has worked out really well. 24-year-old guard when we got him. And then, yeah, let's see if we can do this. I would love to hop in and play, but I don't. I don't want to. It's Madden. It's EA. Don't care. Let's see if we can win it, though. Moment of truth. I think we can win. I think that we are favored in this one, and we get absolutely smashed. Oh, my dear Lord. That was really bad. 20 to 3. We cannot be doing that. That's for sure. Move to next season. And headed into year, I can't even tell you. We're going to see this new look team here. A.T. Perry. Dean is up now. Rashad Bateman. I don't know if he regressed or anything, but I'm going to put A.T. Perry there. Might be crazy, but I, I like the way that this team looks right now. And I think that if we can get A.T. Perry rolling, I think that we'll be in a really good spot, especially as he should still be in the slot. Very, very nice. Uh, we lose corners for sure. Um, no longer have Makai Garner and Marlon Humphrey is heavily declining. We brought in Darnell Savage at safety though. That's pretty good with Kyle Hamilton on the other side of him. And then rushing the quarterback will be away. And then we brought this new guy in, Swinton. See what he can do. I want Travis Jones and Matt Abike up the inside for sure. Looking around. Do I want anything else changed? I don't. I just want A.T. Perry to go off. I'm going to probably try to change the offensive playbook and see how that goes. I just need more out of what we have uh, with, what's his face? Uh, Trey Lance. So, I'll go ahead and change it up. And we'll go to the playoffs. Not midseason. I always do that. Let's go to the playoffs. See how this team works. This new regime we got going on. I won't tell you which playbook I used because... Um, I don't know. I'm just that way, I guess. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Not the result we were looking for. Maybe a playbook change is the last thing we needed to shake up right now. But let's go ahead and see these new numbers here we have by Trey Lance. 4,200 yards, 25 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. I prefer it the other way for sure. He only ran for 215 yards. Anyways, Ingram was a little bit more involved. J.K. Dobbins, I'm not a fan of this new system. But A.T. Perry. 1300 yards i'll take it if that is enough for superstar development I, I need to know now cam dean was really good rashad bateman was okay mark andrews was pretty good um yeah i, I mean i really like this for at perry for sure but um can't say the same for the rest of the guys um down the board pretty good tackles for loss to go around cool meta producing with sacks right now and then interceptions to go around for sure darnell savage in his first year got one so that's pretty cool good stuff um Probably will change the playbook back. I mean, I do kind of want to see how it plays out. Go to next season and then try it one more time. And if the defense flunks too, it could be using a different offensive playbook for whatever reason. I'm still using the same defensive one though. And apparently the team got a lot worse. So let's see what changed. Uh, maybe, I mean, nothing really changed all that much. I am scared because Dean is catching up to A.T. Perry. Um... Uh, I don't like that at all, especially at salt receiver. So he might move there. Swinton as a superstar development player. We got Joe Tryon, Shoyinka. We no longer have Adafi Owe, it looks like. Travis Jones is our starting defensive tackle. Our defense got a lot worse then, huh? Uh, Devin Witherspoon. And yeah, Marlon Humphrey is declining pretty fast here. Uh, we'll just move Devin Witherspoon up for sure right now just to make sure that's all good and done. Swinton would be an 84 overall there. Did draft player. Good pick. Shoyinka looks pretty good. I mean, we've got a lot going on here for sure. A lot of change. Trey Lance is doing pretty good, but I don't really know what to say right now. We're in such a tough spot, but I'm going to keep this uh, this playbook on, see if we can follow through with this uh, 
this season. And if it doesn't work, I guess I could just go back. But let's go to the playoffs. Um, yeah, I don't really else know what else to say. Uh, yeah, we finished four and thirteen. I'm definitely taking this uh this playbook off. Uh, Trey Lance threw for 4,400 yards though, 34 touchdowns, six interceptions. Really, really, really good season from him. Uh, good here. At Perry and Rashad Bateman both over a thousand. First time I think we've seen two or multiple guys go over a thousand yards. Mark Andrews has just been so underused for sure. Uh, receiving touchdowns to go around though too. At Perry led the team with nine, really turning into that wide receiver one and a uh, candidate that you know maybe. People think that he cannot be in real life, and maybe he wants to prove him wrong. Uh, Joe Tryon Shoyinko is pretty good. Terrell Swinton was pretty good as well. 6.55, 5.543, and then uh, Marlon Humphrey, Patrick Queen, blah, 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 blah. All that's pretty good. Pretty cool. Pretty good stuff. Um, yeah, I guess we move on from this season. I'm going to change to a completely different. I would think I'll just switch to KC playbooks offensively and defensively. Uh, you guys might be a little bad about that, but I'm going to do it. Get wild. Shall we take a look see at the team after so many years and stuff here of uh, I mean AT Perry has dropped now past Dean, which sucks, but uh I guess yeah, if Dean wants to play, Dean can play. AT Perry at this point is probably like twenty seven years of age, probably somewhere around there, twenty eight. Uh twenty nine, oh my god. He was twenty three when he came out. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Um yeah, okay, I guess. That's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty nice, pretty fun. Jonah Jackson's on this team now. Um, Trey Lance, you got no more of that uh, whatever guy. Um, looking around here, CJ Henderson's the cornerback too. Yeah, this team has declined kind of fast. Shaq Thompson is not who we needed. We do not need a Shaq Thompson on this team. Milton Williams, I think this is who that is. Milton, yeah, Milton Williams. Um, happy to have him, I guess. I don't know what to say. He's just a... Uh, straight up run game i mean like he won't really be used anywhere else um yeah i guess we moved pretty far into this thing uh i'm curious how old trey lance is i'm gonna guess 20 he came out when he was like 29 he's 29 so yeah good guessing there by me a little pat on my back for sure running the number four uh last two seasons have been pretty good this last season though has been incredible um i do want to see his contracts though his last year remaining and we'll see that all unfold i might be done after this season i've been recording for an hour and i didn't really want to go super and make this like a, a whole whatever so uh, i didn't want to make this like the longest video in the world so i'll still try to keep it probably around 30 25 minutes i mean it depends on what it is but go to the playoffs this might be the final season we'll see though um see how we're feeling I just put on all KC playbooks offensively and defensively to see how this works out for this team. Um, I didn't quite sh make sure that the right people were in the right places on the wide receiver room. Too late now. It's not really like a cancel and go back, but I don't care. And yeah, we finished 3 and 14. This is a dud. Um, Trey Lance threw for 4,600 yards, probably more interceptions than you could count. Way less touchdowns. J.K. Dobbins was not that great. Cam Dean was amazing um at perry didn't really produce defensively though uh whatever you know it is what it is that'll be a video for me devon witherspoon went or devon witherspoon went for five interceptions pretty cool stuff pretty good uh little thing we get going here if you guys want me to continue and do like a part two to this video i'm so down um just not today all right um that'll be all for me thank you guys for watching i do appreciate every single one of you see you guys next time